Hello and welcome to Pre-Algebra Lesson 2. And in this video, we're going to be learning about expanded notation. So our lesson objectives for today would be to learn how to write a number in expanded notation. And we also want to learn the difference between standard and expanded notation. So in our first lesson, we learned all about place value. I taught you how to use this place value chart to find the place value for all the digits in a given number. Now, when we think about expanded notation, all we're simply doing is we're writing a number in a way that it emphasizes the place value for each digit in that number. So this is kind of just a continuation of the last lesson. And in fact, in the first lesson, I gave you a couple of examples where we wrote a number in expanded notation. Now, let's say I took a number like 1,035. And we want to write this in expanded notation. Well, the first thing is we need the place value for each digit in the number. So let's feed this into the place value chart. So we start with the rightmost digit, and we put it in the rightmost column of the place value chart. So the 5 goes into the 1's place. And as we move left, we move left on the place value chart. So the 3 goes in the 10's place, the 0 goes in the 100's place, and the 1 goes in the 1,000's place. So now that we know the place value for each digit in the number, we can write the number to expand in notation. All we need to do is form the sum of each digit multiplied by its corresponding place value. So starting with this one on the left, it's in the thousands place. So each digit, that one, multiplied by its corresponding place value. If it's in the thousands place, we multiply it by 1,000. Then plus. Next we have a zero in the hundreds place. Now that zero, as I've previously explained to you, is just a placeholder. But to illustrate expanded notation, I'm going to go ahead and include it for now, although you don't have to. So the zero here is multiplied by 100. Then plus, we have a three in the tens place. So that digit three is multiplied by 10. And lastly, we have a five in the ones place. So we'll have plus five, that's the digit times one, the place value. Okay, let's do a little multiplication now. So one times a thousand is a thousand, plus zero times a hundred is zero, plus three times 10 is 30, and then plus five times one, that's five. So let's just write this as 1,000, 1,000 plus 30 plus five, right? We don't need to include that zero. So essentially, when we write a number in expanded notation, you can see that it's emphasizing the place value of each digit. This 1 has a value of 1,000. This 3 has a value of 30. This 5 is still a 5. And the reason this is still a 5 is because it's in the 1's place. 5 times 1 is just 5. The reason this is a 30 is because it's in the 10's place. 3 times 10 is 30. And the reason this 1 is a thousand is because it's in the thousands place. One times a thousand is a thousand. So it's a pretty simple concept overall. And remember, when we talk about this zero here, it's a placeholder, right? It's a placeholder. We don't have any hundreds in this case, right? We don't have any hundreds in this case, but our number system will allow us to write 1,035 with this zero saying, hey, I don't have anything there, but hold that space. Otherwise, what would you have? This one would collapse down and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between 135 and 1035. So you'd get all kinds of problems. So let's take a look at another one. Let's say we want to write the number 22,359 in expanded notation. Well, let's get the place value first. So I'm just going to feed this into the place value chart. The nine goes in the ones place. The 5 goes in the tens place, the 3 goes in the hundreds place, the 2 goes in the thousands place, and then this 2 here is going to go in the ten thousands place. So to write the number and expand in notation, again, we form the sum of each digit multiplied by its corresponding place value. So there's a 2 for the digit times its corresponding place value. It's in the ten thousands place, so just 2 times ten thousand. Plus, now we have a 2 in the thousands place, so 2 times 1,000. Plus, now we have a 3 in the hundreds place, so 3 times 100. Plus, we have a 5 in the tens place, so 5 times 10. 
And then lastly, plus, we have a 9 in the 1's place, so 9 times 1. Let's do some multiplication. 2 times 10,000 is 20,000. Plus 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. Plus 3 times 100 is 300. Plus 5 times 10 is 50. And then plus 9 times 1, that's 9. So again, by writing this number in expanded notation, we can see the true value of each digit in the number. This 2 has a value of 20,000. This 2, let me do it in a different color because they're both 2's and are side by side. This 2 has a value of 2,000, right? It's in the thousands place. This 3 has a value of 300. This 5 has a value of 50. And then this 9 has a value of just 9. So each digit gets its value, again, based on where it is in the number. And that's why we call it a place value system. Let's look at another one. Okay, let's say we had 759,275. So let's feed this into the place value chart. So the 5 goes in the 1's place. The 7 goes in the 10's place. The 2 goes in the 100's place. The 9 goes in the 1,000's place. The 5 goes in the 10,000's place. And the 7 goes in the 100,000's place. So to write this in expanded notation, again, we form the sum of each digit multiplied by its corresponding place value. So this digit is a 7. Its place value is the 100,000's place, so 7 times 100,000. 7 times 100,000. Then plus. Next we have a 5 in the 10,000's place. So 5 times 10,000. Then plus. We have a 9 in the 1,000's place. So 9 times 1,000. Then plus. We have a 2 in the 100's place. So 2 times 100. Then plus. We have a 7 in the 10's place. So 7 times 10. Then lastly, we have plus 5 times 1. Right? We have a 5 in the 1's place. 5 times 1. So we do a little multiplication. 7 times 100,000 is 700,000. Plus 5 times 10,000, that's 50,000. Plus 9 times 1,000, that's 9,000. Plus 2 times 100, that's 200. Plus 7 times 10, that's 70. And then lastly, plus 5 times 1, that's 5. So by taking this number from standard notation and putting it in expanded notation, we can see the true value of each digit in the number. The 7 is 700,000, right? Because it's in the 100,000th place. The 5 is 50,000 because it's in the 10,000th place. Five groups of 10,000, 50,000. The 9 is 9,000. Right, it's in the thousands place. The two is 200, it's in the hundreds place. The seven is 70, it's in the tens place. And lastly, the five is still a five because it's in the ones place. Let's look at another one. All right, for the next one, let's write 36,255,927 in expanded notation. Now, some of you might be going, well, where's the place value chart? At some point, you have to be able to do this without a place value chart. You have to simply memorize the place values. So if that's something you can't do yet, pull out a place value chart, write this number into the place value chart so that you can get the place value for each digit in the number, and then continue with me. But otherwise, remember that there's a trick you can use. And in case you didn't watch the first video where we talked about place value, I'll explain it for you. So the rightmost place you should be able to remember is the ones place. As you move to the left, you're just multiplying by 10. So in other words, if you think about this as just 1. As I move left, I multiply by 10. This would be 10. Right? It's the tens place. It's the tens place. Then as I move left, again, I multiply by 10. This just keeps going forever and ever and ever. You just keep multiplying by 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. So this is the hundreds, the hundreds place. Okay, then this would be the thousands. And let me make that apostrophe a little better. And then this would be the 10 thousands. And this would be the hundred thousands. This would be the millions. 
and this would be the 10 millions. And again, the way you figure this out is the rightmost column is always the ones place. So you just think about it as just a one. As you move to the left, you multiply by 10. So one times 10 is 10. So this is the tens place. Now I have a 10. Multiply by 10 again, you get to 100. So now this is the hundreds place. Multiply by 10 again, you get to 1,000. That's the thousands. Then 10,000, then 100,000, then a million, then 10 million, so on and so forth. That continues forever and ever and ever. So you could have a number as large as you want. And provided you had enough time, you could sit there and write out the place values for each digit in that number. Now, let's take this number and write it in expanded notation. So it's kind of a big number, so it's going to take a little time. We have a 3 that's in the 10 millions place. So we would have 3 times 10 million. Then plus, we have a 6 in the millions place. So 6 times 1 million. Then plus, we have a 2 in the 100 thousands place. So 2 times 100 thousand. And plus, we have a five in the ten thousands place, so five times ten thousand. And plus, we have another five, and that's in the thousands place, so five times one thousand. And plus, we have a nine in the hundreds place, so nine times one hundred. And plus, we have a two in the tens place, so two times ten. And lastly, we have plus seven times one, right? We have a seven in the ones place. So we do a little multiplication. Three times 10 million is 30 million. 30 million. And again, that's telling me that the value of this three here is 30 million. Then plus, we have six times one million, which is six million. Six million. So the value for this six is six million. Then plus, we have two times 100,000 or 200,000. The two is worth what? 200,000. Then next we have five times 10,000, so plus 50,000, 50,000. So this five is 50,000. Then plus we have five times 1,000, which is 5,000, so 5,000. So this five is a 5,000. And then we have plus nine times 100 or 900. So this nine is worth 900. And then plus we have a two in the tens place. So two times 10 or 20. So this two is a 20. And then lastly, we just have plus seven, right? Seven times one is seven. This is just a seven. So your number 36,255,927 written in expanded notation looks like this. 30 million plus 6 million plus 200,000 plus 50,000 plus 5,000 plus 900 plus 20 plus seven. So again, just breaking it down and showing you the true value of each digit in that number. Okay, for the last example, let's look at one that's really big. So we have 10 billion, 5 million, 325,005. Now, the good thing about this number is I included a lot of zeros. And when you have zeros and you write a number and expand a notation, you can skip them. So in other words, I'll have this one here. This is in the 10 billions place because essentially this is the ones, the tens, the hundreds. This is the thousands, the ten thousands, the hundred thousands. This is the millions, the 10 millions, the hundred millions. Then this is the billions and the 10 billions. Okay, so this one is in the 10 billions place. So I'd have one times 10 billion. Then plus. Now all these zeros are basically just placeholders. So when we write the number and expand a notation, we don't have to put them. So I can kind of just skip down to the next non-zero number. So that's a five, and that's going to be in the millions place. So five times one million. Then plus, next I have a three in the hundred thousands place. So three times 100,000. Then plus, I have a two in the ten thousands place. So two times 10,000. Then plus, I have a seven in the thousands place. So seven times 1,000. 
then plus I have a five in the ones place, so five times one. Let's do a little bit of multiplication here. One times 10 billion is just 10 billion. Okay, then we have plus five times one million is five million. Then plus three times 100,000 is 300,000. And plus two times 10,000, that's 20,000. And plus seven times 1,000 is 7,000. And plus five times one, which is five. So again, all we're doing is we're breaking the number down to see the value for each digit in this number. So this one is a 10 billion. This five is a 5 million. This three is a 300,000. This two is a 20,000. This seven is a 7,000. And then lastly, the five is just a five because again, it's in the ones place. Five times one is just five. 